Our universe is filled with mysterious and unusual objects. Some of these objects are yet to even be speculated about. For a long time, black holes have fascinated scientists, and recently NASA released the first ever picture of a black hole existing in our universe. White holes, the complete opposite of black holes, have also kept the brains of astrophysicists on edge. Speculations about the existence of white holes have existed for years. Scientists never regarded them as anything more than just hypothetical objects, as they don't obey the second law of thermodynamics. So, what really are white holes? How did scientists discover a hypothetical object? And is the discovered object really a white hole? Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be discussing how scientists finally discovered the first ever white hole. Stay tuned to get answers to all the questions. Let's get started. What is a white hole? White holes are considered bizarre cosmic objects, often called the black hole's neglected twin. They tend to exhibit properties that are the complete opposite of those of a black hole. To understand white holes, you must first know how black holes work. Black holes are regions in space that can pull even light due to their strong gravitational pull. Their existence was finally confirmed when the scientists studying their mind-bending effects on their surroundings and captured an image. Now coming back to white holes, they do not even allow light to enter them. Only matter is found inside and ejected. They are basically reverse black holes. Theorists considered them to be part of the same equation of general relativity applied to black holes. Imagine you're an astronaut in space, observing the white hole from afar. At first, you will find it exactly similar to a black hole, with the ring of gas and dust surrounding the mass and event horizon. It is only when you observe a belch emit that you will realize that it is, in fact, a white hole. Formation of white holes. As white holes are considered hypothetical objects by many theorists, there are many possible theories of white hole formation. White holes are thought to be created similarly to black holes, that is, as a result of the collapsing of massive stars. Another possibility is quantum tunneling, also known as the infamous wormhole. The process is considered to allow subatomic particles to pass through impenetrable barriers. This would allow the negative energy density filled region of space to create a wormhole. Basically, it is hypothesized that white holes are an evolved state of wormholes. There are also other bizarre theories about the formation of white holes that are linked with Einstein's general theory of relativity. To explain this theory in simple terms, Einstein deployed a theoretical framework that explained the workings of gravity and its effect on the structure of space and time. Let's have a look at some of these wild theories. Some scientists believe that the end of a black hole's life is the start of a white hole. From absorbing everything over time, the dying black hole will start emitting matter present inside. Meanwhile, others think that the white holes are portals of black holes that open into other dimensions. For example, if an object falls into a black hole of dimension X, it will be emitted from dimension Y. Another such theory is that white holes are the door to the multiverse. This means that black and white holes are the way to enter an infinite number of universes. Please keep in mind that the discussed theories are just hypothetical, hence we don't know the exact reason for their formation. Are white holes really behind the phenomenon of the Big Bang? The Big Bang Theory is what many scientists believe to be the start of our universe. The theory tells how our universe came into existence with a Big Bang, and how it is expanding. The universe, according to this theory, began around 13.7 billion years ago, as a small point of singularity of hot, dense mass. This point of condensed heat started to expand with an explosion extending the universe faster than the speed of light. Now, scientists think that white holes are related to the Big Bang. This is related to the theory of wormholes we discussed earlier. The Big Bang's point of extreme gravity and density could have resulted in the formation of a black hole, sucking in the matter while a white hole theoretically pushed out the matter and energy. It is theorized that a wormhole had connected the Big Bang with a white hole meaning that it allowed the compressed energy and matter to escape through the worm and white hole, and expanded the universe. Currently, scientists lack observational evidence to support this theory. Discovery of the first white hole During the summer of 2006, an extremely strong gamma-ray burst was recorded by NASA's SWIFT satellite. Gamma rays are the most energetic form of light. Gamma-ray bursts typically shine hundreds of times more compared to a supernova, and are about a billion to a trillion times brighter than the sun. 
These powerful bursts are short-lived and can last from several milliseconds to a few minutes. During these few seconds of such a powerful burst, it is considered to be the brightest source of cosmic gamma-ray photons in the universe. The gamma-ray burst recorded in an unusual region of the sky in 2006 was named GRB 060614 by NASA. But the characteristics reflected by GRB 060614 were different from the typical behavior of a gamma-ray burst. Typically, these bursts are classified short and long bursts, but surprisingly, this burst exhibited neither of them. Instead, it lasted for a total of 102 seconds compared to a typical GRB's 2 to 30 seconds. Moreover, this burst took place in a region with insufficient stars that were incapable of producing such long bursts and explosions. At that time, a gamma-ray burst came out of the blue, and scientists called this incident a case of gamma-ray burst. In later years, when scientists furthered their research on white holes, they proposed the hypothesis that GRB 060614 actually was a white hole. Their hypothesis actually fits the description of a white hole quite aptly. The phenomenon of this burst was in fact an extremely strong gush of energy and matter that dispersed shortly into a point that was inconceivable to the eye. Although due to a lack of explanation and various scientific debates, the curious event of 2006 remains a mystery. But with the high chance of it being a white hole, currently a lot of research and studies are being done on white holes. At one time, people were afraid of even the name black hole, but now the evidence of their existence has changed their perspective. Similarly, we believe that scientists will soon be able to provide observational evidence to prove the existence of white holes. Why are some scientists denying the existence of white holes? Lack of observational evidence is one of the main reasons why some scientists are denying the existence of white holes. Though the possibility of GRB 060614 being a white hole is high, at the end of the day, it's just a hypothesis. Furthermore, another major reason why scientists don't believe in the practical existence of a white hole is the laws of thermodynamics. Apparently, the phenomenon of the white hole denies the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a universe can either remain the same or increase. Meanwhile, the black holes obey this rule perfectly. White holes exhibit the opposite phenomenon. Their nature of outpouring matter means a decrease in overall entropy. Hence, the main argument statement of the physicists is that time cannot go backwards. Work done for white holes. Currently, scientists and astrophysicists are more keen towards finding details about dark matter and energy. Up until now, the definition of dark energy has been that it is an unknown, mysterious form of energy that's responsible for affecting the universe on a large scale. The key to proving the existence of white holes lies within dark energy. Hence, in order to solve the mystery of the white hole, scientists are studying the white hole's dark matter link with the origin of past low entropy. This brings us to the end of our video. Scientists and physicists have a long way to go. Although some believe that the gamma ray burst incident of 2006 was in fact a white hole, the arguments and claims presented by the opposition make sense and hold value. Comment down below what you think about whether GRB 060614 was actually a white hole, or if you would like to wait for observational evidence. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.